Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to the world of airbrush makeup. If you guys aren't subscribed, take a moment to subscribe to my channel. I upload one, two, or even three times a week. With that being said, let's get started. So before we start, I wanted to tell you guys gracias. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I received so many comments, um, a lot of prayers. You guys were asking, um, was I okay? And the answer is yes, we're okay. Thank God, gracias a Diosito. We're okay, me and my kids. Um, I just think it's safe right now with all this thing going around. Um, it's safe if I stay with my mom at least for two more weeks. So I didn't grab as much makeup as... I normally have um, I didn't get for, for some reason I was gonna stay over at my mom's house just for a week but then you know someone tested positive so the best thing for me was you know to grab everything and you know stay over but <sighs> tell me why I didn't bring lashes I forgot and the only lashes I got are these by Ardell which was the first lashes I ever started these are the 105 if you guys are looking for something supernatural I really really highly recommend these it's just you see that little pop but not as a glam or a you know wispy so as always guys I am gonna start off by prepping my face so I am in my sister's vanity she my sister is my sister could be something else so if she sees this video I am so sorry sister I'm gonna go ahead and just grab something that is yours hope she doesn't get mad but i see that she has this milk um hydro grip primer which is <laughs> this one i'm just gonna go ahead and grab just half a pump okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add that to my t-zone and face sorry sister you know i love you and you know I don't get your stuff, but todo se por mis viewers. And then for my eye primer, I have my primer. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Lorac. I wait. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I always prep my eye uh, eyes and face, guys. It's just a habit. All um, I think I'm gonna be using water and silicone base, but I always like to prep my face. Ooh, this thing feels silky. Mmm. -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and add some setting spray. Just for the sake of it because my uh, face is very oily. So what should I start? I'm going to start as usual. I think I'm going to do my brows first. Or should I do foundation? When you're doing airbrush makeup, you always want to start either with your um, eyeshadow or brows because if you do your foundation once it's there and if you mess up with the eyeshadow or you get oversprayed or you, with your brows that's it game over so always start with your brows or eyeshadow and then last foundation so for my brows i'm going to be using underground and i'm going to be using three drops of this and i'm going to be using my dinair one compressor I already charged it, by the way. If you guys want a discount, I'm going to be leaving it down on my description box for Dynair. My coupon code is Makeup by Z, and you guys get a discount off of that. Um, also, for Tem2, I think, I'm not sure because I barely got the, well, I didn't get it, but with all these things changing, I think it's Airbrush by Z15. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna leave it down below on my description, so check it out. And for Dynair, make sure you guys um, use my link and use my coupon code. That way it really, really helps for me. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and do three drops, actually through two to three drops of underground. I told my mom to take care of my babies for 25 minutes and I think I've done like 10 or 15 minutes. <sighs> I was setting up my camera and just having a good view because if I turn the camera around like this, my sister has something there. I don't even know what it is. So I was trying to find the perfect angle for you guys. So there it is. Anyways, whatever I do to one brow, I will do to the other. And I'm going to try to do fast forward so these videos aren't long for you guys. I 
and there you go guys let me know down below how you guys do your makeup do you guys do it in front of the sunlight how do you guys do it okay so i think i'm gonna leave it there down below so moving on to my foundation i am using the temp to air so i'm gonna go ahead and use it on speed two or three i'm gonna leave it on two but meanwhile i'm gonna go ahead and pop it out and for the shade i'm gonna be using the perfect canvas and this is the 4w so i'm gonna go ahead and remove this and shake it well pop this thing open insert i'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on to two and spray so you guys see i'm gonna do the imperfections and um i don't like my foundation full coverage i like a light to medium not even a medium but just a, a medium a light coverage so this is what my face looks like without foundation and by the way guys this is silicone base a little bit on my eyes and i'm gonna go ahead and cover up my brows So this is half of my face with uh, with foundation and half without. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And there you go guys. So this is with foundation. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. So I'm going to pop this little thing back in. Always remember to pop it back in. Otherwise, it will spill everywhere. So for contour, I'm going to go ahead and use the Perfect Canvas. And this is 11W. Pop this thing open. Same thing. Pop it out and insert so i'm gonna go ahead and turn to speed number two spray a tissue making sure it's coming out and spray so i'm gonna move back just a bit to see okay so there it goes one side I feel like when you're seeing a mirror in front of you, it's always good to see from far distance. Okay, so that's one side, and then there's the other. I'm going to go ahead and do my big forehead, my double papada. Okay. I think I'm going to leave as is. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Pop that thing right in there, the cap. And then for highlights, I'm gonna go ahead and use, I'm gonna use this shimmer color. It's just called shimmer, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Again, shake and pop open and insert. Oops. This highlight. There we go. So that's my highlight. A little bit on my cupid's bow. Okay. And then for my eyes. As always, make it a habit to insert and leave it ready for the next day. For my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, matte. It's a bronzer egg contour. It's just matte. Go ahead and shake and open. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a tad bit on my eyes.
and then I'm gonna let it dry. While that is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rest of my underground on my diner one. And I'm gonna do that on my eyeliner. So I'm gonna do freehand. So I'm gonna slightly pull and just spray. Same thing to the other eye. And there you go guys. I'm going to go ahead and add just a bit on the bottom of my eye and I'm going to use my stencil because I have a foundation already. So I'm just going to use my shield to cover. Just a little bit. And there you go. Oh, I already hear my baby. <laughs> yeah, boy, dos minutitos más. Two more minutes. I forgot to add. I'm going to add just a little bit of brown mascara. Yeah, boy, puppy. A little bit of NYX. This is the NYX Brow Mascara in the color Espresso. Just a sec. Um, la de una. Okay, where was I? Okay, so for my lashes, I'm gonna be using the 105. And then I'm going to be using my Calis Glow. Sorry, guys. These are the only lashes I have. You know what? I'm going to use my telescopic mascara since I am going to be wearing these lashes. This uh, mascara is by L'Oreal. I remember when I first started doing my... Mom! It's says in the video! It's five minutes! She said, why up this? <laughs> she said, when am I going to Costco? Okay, sister, I'm going to grab your mirror. Okay, so. Where was I? <sighs> Keep forgetting where was I. I forget. Oh, yeah. I was telling you guys, these lashes give me so much memories. Um, This is when I first started. I felt like the other lashes were like so big and you know, um, I started off learning with these lashes, the 105 by Ardell. And then little by little, I started going to Wispies from like 5D, it's, it's so crazy. But So I did it in the middle and then side and that side aside so i stop you can hardly see but hey hey algo es algo right something something and then is always best let me get my mascara if you guys go back in and add a little bit of mascara but estas casi no tienen volumen so it is what it is So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my underground again. You guys see three drops can go a long way. And I'm gonna go ahead and seal my lashes. And I always say I always and I always say that I seal my lashes because the jet black is actually matte and my eyelash glue is glossy. 
So by sealing this, it mattifies it. There you go. As you guys see, I don't know if you guys are able to see that right there. And there you go guys okay and for my lips I'm gonna go ahead and use the NYX and this is um, push-up I usually go in with Carmex but hey and there you go guys I wanted to do a makeup look for you guys something that you can multitask use as you guys see it was fun, fast, and easy. I did go in with my Diner One, and I did use three drops of underground, which I did in my brows and my eyeliner. And for my foundation, contour, and highlight, I did go in with my Temp to Air. I am gonna skip on my blush for today. I'm just loving how all this look came together. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much. Let me show you guys what my face looks like from side to side. I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. And as always, guys, thank you guys so, so, so much from the bottom of my heart. And I will see you guys next time. Bye now. I completely forgot, guys, to tell you. You guys don't need to set your foundation. Airbrush just sets and it's ready on the go however i do like adding a little bit of setting spray but you guys don't need no powder nothing there you go guys i was cleaning up here and i was like oh i forgot to tell you guys so there you go guys quick tip bye <laughs>